have n factorial. So that means we have n plus 1 and then n factorial. We are looking for n minus 2 factorial. So we'll keep reducing this. And hence, let's proceed with this. So this will now be equal to n plus 1. Now n factorial, we said subtract 1. It becomes n this into my next step becomes n minus 1 factorial. So I have this. All right. So we keep subtracting 1. We are here. We are looking for n minus 2. That means we'll keep subtracting. So my next term becomes n plus 1 into n into this one here, which is n minus 1. We said subtract another one. That becomes n minus 1. This one here, then minus 1. So I have minus 1. Bring in the factorial. If I work on this, this is equal to n plus 1 into n into n minus 1 into n minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 factorial. So I have this as um, the case here. So in essence, we can express n plus 1 in terms of n minus 2 using this notation. So hence, this is equal to, I have this as being n plus 1. We said it's equal to n plus 1. So n plus 1 factorial is n plus 1 into n 